so in the vein of recreating things I've never eaten before, um, we got some samosas from Sugi's. If you've never had them, they're really great. Uh, I like their curry and stuff too, but actually never had their samosas. And then we made a boysenberry chutney. This looks <laughs> very different from the photos that we've seen. Um, their chutney is almost like red. It looks a lot like sweet chili sauce, but, uh, when, when we made it, it just kind of turned, it looks like boysenberry jam. I know this looks like boysenberry jam to you, but, uh, this is chutney. This is a third of a cup of sugar, sixth of a cup of vinegar, some craisins, uh, some garlic minced up, um, a little bit of mustard powder, um, a little bit of chili pepper. Uh, oh, no, no, it's tahine. Tahine. We used tahine because we didn't have any chili powder. And then um, a couple boysenberries. There's also Don't some... The yeah, there's also some dried onions in there. So it's... You just it's, simmer it until it's... Yeah, and then you just simmer it until it's a chutney. <laughs> um, but, yeah, so it's, like, chunky. We're gonna put it on the samosa. It's also a lot thicker than the one they had. Theirs is very thin. It looks almost syrupy there's so like I'm guessing that they just didn't cook it for that long but I really um prefer a sweet chutney with samosas because you can get more savory chutneys. They're fine too, but I feel like the sweetness of like an, a fruit chutney is better for samosas because of the spice and the not necessarily blandness, depending on what your filling is. These are, I believe, potato and pea, but there's, you can have meat and stuff in them too. Uh, but because it helps balance out the flavors a little bit. This particular chutney is very good, um, but in terms of recreating the pictures we saw and everything, I feel like I gotta give it like a 4 out of 10. <laughs> um, for me personally, this is a great chutney, but in terms of recreating what we know of this dish, uh, we did a pretty, pretty bad job. <laughs> But I don't know how they made theirs, because theirs is super thin, super red. Like, all the pictures we saw of it at the preview night are, like, red. They're, well, not like, more like fuchsia. So, like, slightly tinted sweet chili sauce is, is really what it looks like. Uh, I feel like this is more true to being a chutney, though, and yeah. If you want to make a boysenberry chutney for samosas or just to put on toast or anything like that, I, I would say give this recipe a try because it's pretty good. You can double it and stuff too. It, we just, we, we made this much because we weren't sure how it was going to turn out. Um, and we only have like this many samosas, so we don't need a whole lot. But yeah, I like it. It's pretty good. Um... In terms of the actual dish, I would give it like a 10 out of 10. In terms of recreation, I would give it f 4, 3. <laughs> yeah, so I'm going to take another bite of this and I will see you guys in the next one. Mm, mm. <laughs>